Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another unboxing. This is the FabFitFun Summer 2023. Oh, it's kind of heavy, so sorry. Unboxing, we have kind of a more simple box. This go round. So we're just gonna go through what I got today. I did do some add-ons as per usual with me. I feel like they've been so good lately. Like, how could I not add stuff on? First thing we get is this little FabFitFun and Games Ultimate Prize Pack. A, a chance to win over a thousand winners. Do I grab a coin and do this now? Match four logos in a row. Oh, okay, well I already didn't win this one. No, okay, I'm not an instant winner. We also have $100 off of a wine voucher from Naked Wines, and we also, as per usual, have 17 free meals across nine boxes for HelloFresh, which I did HelloFresh a while ago and I really, really liked it. And there hasn't been this good of an offer in a while, so I actually might put this to the side. And, oh, and three surprise gifts. I might see about this. I actually might use this. I'll give you the spiel really quickly. Um, FabFitFun is a quarterly subscription service which comes to your door four times a year for every season. It is seasonal. There are two tiers you can get. You can be an annual member, which is what I am, which means you pay a bigger chunk um, like for me, it's in the spring, but the boxes are overall a little bit cheaper. And as an annual member, you get first access to add-ons, um, to customization. Then you have seasonal, which you pay per box. It's a little bit more expensive. I think it's like $55, $60 now a box. The value of boxes are usually over $150. Not that that necessarily matters to me. I've genuinely really liked the things that they've offered. So the like price tag doesn't ever get to me, but that is the gist of FabFitFun. They started doing this thing recently. Like if you're customization one, let's say, but I like two things in customization one, you can add on to the box for an extra fee, something else from the customization one. I did that a few times in here. I'm gonna go through what I got first that was like not in the customized things. So they had these things called box boosts. They'd had them for a while, but I've never gotten anything from it until I saw this. They have the Foreo Luna Play Smart 2. Now, this is gonna be a freaking throwback. I got this for $35. These normally retail for like 200 or 150 or something crazy. Not $35. Back in 2000 and whenever, when I first got FabFitFun, I had gotten FabFitFun because they had the Foreo Luna, the like OG one. And my friend who also got FabFitFun at the same time as me, her Foreo died within like two years. Mine's still going strong. So when I saw this, I was like, maybe it is time for an upgrade. It's been low key, maybe five years. And I'll give my other Foreo to someone else because it still works so well. So I got this cute blue color, very excited. I do love Foreo. I love using some kind of vibrating cleansing helper. I just really feels like it gets into my pores way better. And the cool thing about the Luna Play Smart 2 is like, it will tell you, it has little eyes on the back, you can't see it. But you can download the app and put it up to your skin and it will tell you like how moisturized your skin is, like the age of your skin, and it will make like a custom thing because you start on one side of your face and when it's like you're done, it vibrates and then you move to the next side of your face. So it tells you how long to stay on each side of your face. I really enjoy it, I'm very excited. I, yeah, I'm excited for my customized cleaning routine. And then from add-ons, I did get two things. I thought these were so freaking cute. These are from Deco Miami. These are nail art stickers, and I got the ones in Golden Hour. I saw titties and ass, and I was like, these would be really cute on my nails with like the nail polish shades I have. It was like $5 on add-ons. I could just look at the actual price. This was $5 on add-ons. And also, they had these IGK Legendary Shampoo Conditioner for $24 for the bundle. I had gotten these in a box two boxes ago and I really, really, really enjoyed the shampoo and conditioner combo. So I figured I'm gonna get it here again. Right now I'm using an Amica shampoo conditioner from the last box that I got and I really enjoyed it. So I was like, while I like shampoo and conditioner and it's like affordable, I'm going to grab them. So I got these as well. All right, now it's time to go into things that I got in the box. Let's start with customization one and I'll move onward. From customization one this year, I got myself a beach towel. Um, this retails for $78. This better be the best beach towel I've ever used. I don't have a beach towel. When I moved, um, I took everything that was in my room, but like the family owns all the beach stuff. So I realized I don't have any beach towels. I need, <laughs> I need to take care of myself this summer. I want to go to the beach. Let me get a really nice beach towel. So this is from the brand um, Beach Riot Beach Club. This is the pink and blue stripe. So this was the first thing I customized. And I'm very happy to have a beach towel. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this was also an option in 
The last time on the app it told me like what I had upgraded. This time it just tells me the full price on them, not if I had like upgraded this from choice one. I had bought this as well. This I think was a part of choice one too. This is from First Aid Beauty. This is the firming cream with peptides, niacinamide, and collagen. I always need to have a moisturizer on lock, like a daytime moisturizer. Um, so this one looked really cool. It's safe for sensitive skin. I did use a First Aid Beauty cleanser a few years ago and it was very irritating to my um, face. I actually broke out, but I think I'm ready to try this again. So this retails for $44 and let me see if it smells like anything. I'm pretty sure this cleanser smelled like grapefruit and maybe that is what irritated me. I love a glass jar. And it doesn't smell like anything, which I think is a huge perk, so. The next thing in my box on like the list on the app is this. This is from Kenzie. And this is the Radiant Shaver. This is a wet or dry shaver. And I wasn't going to like add this onto my box until I saw FabFitFun like talking about it. They said it's really easy for like arm hair and leg hair. And do you ever just shave one day and miss a whole fucking area? I definitely do. So I did try this out dry. I feel like I don't know if I'll ever need to use it wet, honestly. But it is this big. It has a little protective thing. And when you turn it on, boom. Y'all just saw me shave my armpit hair. It doesn't really hurt. My armpit is really smooth now. So I tried it on my leg and it felt okay. I tried it on my arm, it was, it was okay. It's a rechargeable thing, I really enjoy that. And um, they said it's good for your bikini line. That's what got me because yeah, when I shave my bikini line, legitimately six hours later, somehow I have hair again. It just, it never wants to stay shaven. So I thought, fuck it. Fuck it, let's try something new and interesting. And that was the rechargeable <laughs> razor. Um, and this retails for $50. The next thing I got in my box is from Milk Makeup. This is their new mascara, the Rise Mascara. As y'all know, I'm a big mascara searcher outer. I love testing them. I have like some ride or die mascaras um, and I've always wanted to try the Milk Mascara. I tried the Kush mascara and it was okay, but I've heard a lot of really good things about this mascara and I figured, you know, why not add it to the many mascaras I need to try. I have a new one on today from Milani. It's supposed to be their tubing mascara and I will say I'm not a fan on first impressions. I usually do like a drier formula, so I'm gonna let it dry out for a little bit and then try it again. Anyway, this retails for $28. I was watching Jen Love Reviews on her box and I love watching her because like she knows way more about skincare than I ever did or ever do. So she actually convinced me to get this from Volition. This is the Strawberry Sea Brightening Serum. She was talking about all of like the products and uh, what's inside of it and how it was like a really, really good set of things to put on your skin. And I feel like the one thing I always run out of <laughs> is serums. And why not have something cool? I've heard really good things about Volition. I'm pretty sure Katie Jane Hughes talks about them too. One that retails for $44. The next one I also got because Jen Love Review, she influenced me. This is from Gloasis. This is the Gloasis Probiotics and Triple Peptide Refreshing Eye Cream. This retails for $48. I do have an eye cream and I do not have a backup eye cream, which is why I was like, hmm. But basically, Jen said that this has, again, a bunch of really great things in it. It's supposed to be really good for your eyes. She got it as well and really enjoys it. And so I figured I might as well try it. Item in the box, um, I'm pretty sure this was choice five. I decided to choose <laughs> suntan lotion. This is the Vacation Classic Lotion SPF 30. This retails for $18. I solely got this because much like the, okay, I'm so sorry, my neighbors are playing music right now, but much like the towel, I did not leave home with suntan lotion and I am fair. I'm very fair and I need suntan lotion. So I got this one. Fun fact, the pharmacist, you know, when I used to work at a pharmacy for six years, the pharmacist told me that above SPF 30, like everything else is kind of gimmicky. Like this is the most you can get sun protection wise. So SPF 30, I have some like spray ons, but it's always good to have a nice like rub on for your neck and your ears and your face when you need to reapply things. The last thing I got in the box, this is from Rodial. Rodial. This is a brand I've also been really interested in. Wow, this is a very skincare heavy box I have here. But I've heard a lot about this brand. I've heard a lot of good things about this brand. I've always been really interested in it. So I picked up the Dragon's Blood 
hyaluronic drink. These retail for $52. I basically always need a mist with me at all times, and I feel like you cannot fuck up a mist too bad, like facial mist. Um, so this one, it just says it's very high hydrating with hyaluronic acid. I don't know anything about it, but I figured I would try it because I needed a face mist. That is everything I got in my box this, this season. I don't know why I feel like I did this video super funky than I normally do, but basically I am excited for everything I got in my box. Do I feel like the choices could have been better? I don't even know. I don't know what else you would pick. They did have a lot of really great options um, across like a wide variety of items you could pick. I am very pumped to have this shaver. <laughs> I think I'm most pumped for the shaver, for the mascara, and honestly the beach towel because that's going to be a lifesaver when I want to go to the beach. I'm also like super, 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 super pumped to have a new Foreo. I literally hopped on this the moment customization came out because I was afraid this was going to sell out and it didn't, which I was confused about. Let me add up everything. I did pay extra, like there are more items that I have that were, I have more than six items here, so I obviously boosted my box. I don't remember how much I boosted my box though. Um, so let me just total up everything I got. Okay, so the total for my personal box was three hundred and sixty-one dollars. Let me go. Let me see how much extra I paid for my box box. Okay, great. I know exactly what it was. So the pinch, the I paid an extra fifteen dollars for the razor, the shaver, um, and I paid an extra twelve dollars for the um, brightening serum. So that is an additional. $27 on top of what I would have paid for the actual box again because I'm an annual member I don't even look at it like I paid 55 plus this you know what I mean so yeah that was everything thank you so much for tuning in let me know what you got let me know how you feel about this box for me this is a solid like 8 out of 10 for a box I'm going to use every single product in here I'm very excited to try some of these new brands skincare wise um, I'm very excited to bring this new Foreo back into my life I'm very excited for legitimately everything including the sunscreen and the towels so that I can go to the beach and get a little bit of sun I don't like to tan I don't do self tanner I don't do any of that um, but I just do I am cold all the time so when I'm just laying on the beach and like letting the sun like penetrate my skin, I feel like I'm an amphibian. I feel like I'm a, <laughs> I feel like I'm a, like a gecko and I just need that like heat from the sun to go on. Um, it just makes me feel so happy. I love the smell of the beach. It's really, really calming. It's a, the sound of the waves is really calming. It just feels like my happy place. My therapist often talks about like, what am I doing for self care? which is such an interesting, interesting thing. Um, what I do for self-care is the beach, truly. It makes me so happy, so I'm just very excited to be able to go to the beach this year now that I have all my beach stuff and like read on the beach and the sand and just soak it up. Yep, yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe if you want to, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, y'all.